Hey guys. Hey guys. We're in Atlanta for Passion. We just got to our Airbnb. We're gonna give you a little tour. We're starting on the balcony. The weather is a little rainy and cloudy today, but that is all right. So yeah, this is our balcony. And let's start, you don't get to see the rest. We're starting from the front door now. Okay, so. When you enter the Airbnb, we have this beautiful painting, and then we have our little kitchen area, washer dryer, groceries that we got earlier. <laughs> we got a pizza ready to go in the oven once that heats up. Beautiful Stanley cup, and then a Keurig. And then this is the main room. We found board games. Ooh, fun. <laughs> this beautiful, wall with mirrors and then we have the first bedroom in here the two beds and a tv perfect mirror for ootds and then in the bathroom we got this situation and then it shows us there's a bluetooth symbol on here which is making me think maybe the mirror plays music stay tuned more paintings and then here is the other bedroom, TV, all that jazz. And then, what is this? Oh, more towels. Okay, and then the other bathroom. Hope you enjoyed the Airbnb tour. Now I need to get situated and all that. It's 4.49 and doors open at six and it starts at 7.30. Um, also, if you don't know what Passion is, it's like a Christian conference here in Atlanta. They also did one in Dallas this year that was a few days ago, but we're going to that and there's just a lot of speakers and musicians and it's a really fun time. I came last year and loved it. So welcome to the vlog and for our adventure here. We have our mirror here, and it has a Bluetooth connection to my phone right now. So we're gonna try this. Oh wait, we can't have noise complaints. <laughs> the pizza is finished. We're now trying to cut it. We don't have a pizza cutter though. Bro, we're trying it with this knife. Guys, I called this. She forgot the name for it. She called, I it. called it a flippy thingy. Time for fit checks. Yay, okay. First store, Converse. My shirt is He Would Love First and my raincoat is Florida State Champion. It's I very cute. <laughs> my fit check. This is from Shein. I have my Lulu Align tank underneath. These black pants are from Forever 21. I honestly don't know where these shoes are from. Earrings are on a Louisa. Kendra Scott necklace. Okay, so we have He Would Love First. Blue lemon from Plato's Closet, some Nikes, and my Charles River rain jacket. I'm also wearing a rain jacket. It has a ripped hood. Um, <laughs> I love it a lot, and I refuse to get another one. That's the vibe. We will see you later tonight. When we survived the rain, barely. Our socks are so cute. Yeah, oh pants and socks are so cute. But we have the dryer, so we're gonna use that later. We're standing at the gate right now. Hey vlog, we're back. It's 11.40. It's not focusing on my watch. Well, it's 11.40. We got back, we just showered, Jessica's in the shower. Now, we're in our comfy PJs. And we're having some snacks. Cheez-Its with football. Go FSU, cheez it bowl. And we're gonna have some of our lovely haagen ice cream bars that we got earlier. Not the dryer. Very excited. Yeah, the dryer is really loud. So our shoes, socks, and pants all got pretty wet on the way there, especially and even on the way back because it was just raining. So yeah, that's why the dryer is being really loud because there's shoes in there. Night one was incredible. I loved it. We had lots of worship and then we had Christine Kane as the first speaker to go, which I thought was cool because she was the last speaker to go last year and she had a really great message. Do they post like the talks on YouTube? I should link all the talks below. I'm gonna do that. If you wanna see it, <laughs> look below in the description. But yeah, it was really good and worship was incredible. Mia took a video, I'll insert it now. <laughs> The 
just a really special first night. Loved it a lot. It's just really great to be back in that space, even though we're, oh, are they dry? Yes, Yay! clothes are dry. Yeah, I just think it's so cool, even though we weren't in the same like arena, stadium, whatever you want to call it. It's just, there's so much like power and like that many people like worshiping at once. It's really cool. Don't really know what we're gonna do besides snack and hang eat out, ice eat ice cream. 2023 is off to a great start. Hello vlog, welcome to day two. It is time for yet another fit check. My flannel is the brand Hurley, but I don't know where it's from. This white tank is from Marshalls. Kendra Scott necklace, high rise flare, jeans from Hollister, my white Asics. Earrings are from Amazon. Mia's okay. turn. My fit check. Um, this is from He Would Love First. My necklace is Mary Kay. Uh, I don't know where my pants are from. Converse again. And my raincoat is Florida State again. Turn around so you can oh. see the back. We love. I have the same shirt and I love them so much. Hi guys. So, pants are from TJ Maxx. Shirts from Southwind Young Life Camp, of course. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and then got some Nike shoes on because the other ones are soaking wet. <laughs> and Charles with a rain jacket round too. Yay. And we all have umbrellas. We do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It is a beautiful see, sunny day in Atlanta. That's There's the Olympic okay. rings. We're walking through Centennial Park right now. So I brought an extra pair of socks today. I did not. Um, I have to my socks and shoes are doing pretty good. My flare jeans that are dragging on the ground are getting a little bit damp. Got a little fan feature over there. That's the the Ferris wheel. Yeah, you should just use the, the rainwater. We're excited for day two, all that it will bring. We tried to make predictions about the day, but it's kind of hard. There's so many people left. Like, we don't know who's speaking at what time, so they don't tell us that, but we will know soon enough. We're in the stadium. Yesterday was so <laughs> I didn't really take any clips yesterday, except I put in the one that Mia took really quick. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to be in the vlog? Yes. Oh my gosh, the vlog. Oh my gosh. Where are you guys from? Indiana. Okay. Oh, cool. Where are you from? Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. How was the drive here? It's good. She drove. She did a great job. Yeah. <laughs> so good it's the first time it's been sunny since we got here yeah we love the sun we're gonna go have our dinner break and we're gonna cook tonight so get excited for our cooking show that we're about to put on jessica came up with the meal idea from pinterest welcome to dinner we're making a tour we well to jessica is <laughs> making, making a tortellini casserole what do we have going on here some ground beef with some cream cheese and um some pasta sauce and we got nice. our pasta over here and then while we're um you know making dinner we're gonna have a snack so all the fruits out too for our snack hey and i did the garlic bread the garlic bread is in great the job Unfortunately, the coffee place we wanted to go to closed at 4 p.m. I got energy drinks in here. <sighs> and what am I gonna do? I don't drink carbonated. They're not carbonated. They're not? No, they're uncarbonated. Why? They're, Where are they? they're in there. You put them in a water. They're Celsius oh. that are uncarbonated sticks and you put them in a water. Bet. Okay, I'll try yeah. that. Okay, well. So I turned off the camera for like two seconds. 
<laughs> the good news, the garlic bread looks nice. We had to put the garlic bread in the casserole pan because we don't have anything else to put it in. If the person that we rented the Airbnb from is watching this, no you're not. We're cleaning it. <laughs> we're, we're cleaning it. We're cleaning it. Jessica pulled through with the Celsius packets for the water. Tried the dragon fruit lime flavor and it tastes like drinking a lush bath bomb in the best way possible. That's all I have to say. The spatula is now back on the stove and the pasta has been drained. Good food is on the way. We can't get the plate out of the cabinet. I thought about it this side. But we can't, I also can't move it to that side because it gets stuck in the middle. How lovely. So, <laughs> but this is a finished product. It looks really good. <laughs> I can't get the we can't get the out. plates out. They're stuck. Jessica's gonna get it in one try. <laughs> Did you look at that? Are we surprised? No. No, we're not surprised. <laughs> we are getting ready to leave. We ate dinner. It was great. Love garlic bread. I put on an extra layer because it's gonna be a little bit chillier and I was kind of cold in the stadium. What are we most excited for? I think I'm excited for Crowder because I'm pretty sure he's gonna be tonight, but I don't know. And I hope Tim is tonight too. Me too. Timmy from Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> the only gator I like. <laughs> we were waiting in line and they were like, where do you go to school? And I was like, oh, I go to Florida State. And she goes, is that the gators? I said no. I no. said no. It's not. Nope, not at all. And he goes, she goes, oh, you're the Seminoles. She goes, you guys have the horse and the guy that rides the horse with the spear. You have the coolest mascot ever. And I was like, yeah, he's pretty cool. But just our <laughs> field goal in the last minute of the game won us the game. UF's field goal in the last minute of the game scored them the only three points they scored the entire game. And that's and on Trump that. <laughs> yeah. J Trump for Jay Trump for Jay president. Trump and Jesus. <laughs> hey guys, I'm in charge of the camera. I have an important announcement to make. I um, just completed all of my rings for the very first time ever. That's very shaky. Because I just got my, we're crossing the street. It's a great time to be vlogging. Um, but. Yeah, I completed all my rings for the first time from all the walking we've been doing. On her and Apple Watch. Yeah, on my watch that I got for Christmas. So, just wanted to document that. It and it, we're walking things. for the first time to the arena without and it's rain. It's not raining. And big puddles. Except for one that's right in front of us, but puddles, we can avoid it. You see that? Yeah, that's. That's the puddles. Also, I love Alex because she is letting me take over the vlog, but also I still love her, but she likes her bagels with nothing on it. We were singing I Want It That Way with other people and then we were going across the street. Slide over to the right. Slide over to the right. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Story time, we yeah, almost died. Yeah. Not clickbait, no I'm kidding. Um, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so we were uh, walking back in the last clip and I ended the clip because um, <laughs> A little bit sus, <laughs> and then um, we were with a lot of people, and then suddenly there were not a lot of people except very um, um, sketchy and, uh, people. And someone that Jessica said had just tried to rob a store, <laughs> and they had guns. <laughs> oh, they did? Yes, yeah, they, <laughs> they were holsters on their ankles. Oh, I didn't see that part. She pays attention to her. I know, I'm, I have a cop. Wow, me. okay, guys, pro tip. <laughs> Always be with Jess at night. <laughs> Just in any situation, anywhere, at any you time. Of day. <laughs> so the story time I was trying to give before the we almost got killed story time um, is that we were going to cross the street and there was like a van, not a sketchy van, 
um, <laughs> like a van of people that had been at Passion and like they were stopped at a light and then another van was next to them and the guy like rolled down the window and he was just like waving at the other car until they looked and then the other car like rolled down their window and he was like, oh, that's great, right? Like, or how like great is God? And then they were just like smiling and it was so funny. I don't know. I just thought I should share that because it was funny. Um, and then we almost died, but like God protects, so. <laughs> All right. Hello, it's Mia. This is my fit check. This nice hand-me-down jacket from my brother from Old Navy. This Young Life sweatshirt. I'm wearing a Young Life pink t-shirt underneath. I don't remember where I got these jeans. My Converse again. Bubble braids, I guess. And my cross necklace again. And obviously, courtesy of Passion, my little ticket. Hey vlog, I'm literally chewing right now with my bagel, but we have to like run out the door, so. This is from Shein. This is from Ross Marshall's TJ Maxx, one of those. These are the same pants I wore the other day from February 21. And my YA6. Last day. We're walking to the stadium. It's the coldest. Yeah, coldest it's in day. the 40s today. So, <laughs> but not not colder than last year. So we're good. We can't see yeah. our breath. Park is very pretty. Jessica's car did not get broken into. <laughs> um, parking area next to where we parked, but like it's an outdoor <laughs> area. Ways. Like several cars got broken into there. So, but today we know for sure who's speaking because it's the last day. Sadie no more and Tim. Sadie and Timmy. Very excited. <laughs> in the car passion 2023 has come to a close so sad but today's session was incredible i loved 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 sadie's talk we're trying to leave we got into our car it wasn't broken into yay thank the lord yes praise and god we're going to the hawaiian chick-fil-a We've never been, but we're gonna go because it's kind of close to here, so that's exciting. We got coffee from this place called Caribou Coffee, and I um, spilled it on myself because I was trying to put my cake pop bag in my other bag, and the cup tipped over, but thankfully only a little bit spilled, and I got on this, so it, like the liquid kind of flicked off, but it didn't like spill the whole drink, so I can still drink it, which is very nice. We have arrived. Seated. Yeah, oh, that's nice. It like, looks so seated. different. Full service. Oh wow. Here is our appetizer. <laughs> this is our spread. I got the Hawaiian nuggets and the mac and cheese. Um the pork tacos with no coleslaw and then the sweet potato fries. And I just got a side salad because I wanted to eat the appetizer. Avocado or avocado lime, lime, ranch, lime ranch. My favorite. Chick-fil-A. If you see this, please bottle this and sell it in stores. <laughs> my birthday soon. You can do it. <laughs> We're in the yeah, candy store. I only get it. Found her favorite root beer. Childhood memory unlocked. I'm trying some interesting flavors. We got strawberry lime for the car ride, blue raspberry, and then my iconic citrus. And I am just getting this. Wow, I'm filming in 0.5. This is kind of weird. <laughs> I didn't know that was the thing. <laughs> Hello. So clearly I am back in my apartment. I just showered and unpacked my stuff. It is now 10 13 and yes, I'm wearing my campus cat shirt. If you were wondering, this is the end of the vlog. I I just wanted to say thank you for watching this. I am so glad I got to document such an incredible experience. Just something that I know will be such a significant turning point for me in my relationship with the Lord. This weekend, not weekend, it's Thursday. It felt like a weekend because it was like a three-day thing. Tuesday through Thursday. This experience was just so incredible between the words of wisdom that were given and just the power of the worship is just like unlike anything i've ever experienced so if you have the opportunity to go to passion please do it it is absolutely incredible and the best thing about it is that everything i learned there and experienced there doesn't stay there it gets to come with me and i get to feel revived by that and carry out what i learned and am feeling out onto my life now so that's really exciting. I actually went back through some of my notes and I wrote some notes to put on my mirror in my bathroom. I haven't put them on yet because my mirror is really foggy from just showering so they won't 
stick on there, but yeah. These are all based on like the different messages that were discussed. So I am so glad that I got to document this and I'm so glad that you guys have watched to this point. I'm really excited for what the new year is going to bring. I know it's only January 5th, but I already can tell this year is just going to be full of just so much like goodness. And something that was discussed in one of the messages was that good things and hard things aren't like mutually exclusive. The term that was used was good hard living and I just feel like that's what life is lived out as and that's what I expect this year to be lived out as and things get hard sometimes, but we were made to do hard things in the good story that god is writing but yeah i'm just really excited for everything that's gonna happen i have a plan as of now and hopefully i will stick to it because i was very diligent in making an organized schedule of the videos i want to do for the next month because i didn't like how inconsistent i was last semester so i'm planning on uploading every friday this month and then hopefully i can carry that into the other months but i'm just trying to start here and i have all the videos planned out so hopefully that can work and then something that i just really want to focus on this year is reflecting my faith onto this channel because i have this platform and even though it may not be huge it is still something and if you're watching this that means that like as long as there's like at least one person that i can speak to like and if that impacts them like then i know that i've like fulfilled my purpose I just want to make that the focus of my channel i don't want it to be about me i want it to be about showing god's goodness because my identity is a child of god so that's just what I want to reflect on this channel and show to you guys because I feel like it has come up in some of my vlogs, but it hasn't been like as like pronounced as I would like it to be because that needs to be the focus, not me. And yeah, I'm on this channel and it's my life, but it's not my life. It's God's life that he is working through me and living within me to fill his purposes and for his glory. So yeah, um, if you guys ever have any questions, if you have any prayer requests, please feel free to comment below or DM me on Instagram right here. I just would love to have conversations with you guys about this and that is what I am here for and that is what I want to do and I'm called to do. I'm really appreciative that you guys watch this. Thank you to Mia and Jessica for great company this weekend and just I'm so thankful I got to get closer to them through this experience and it's truly a special thing when you get to worship alongside friends. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video because there's going to be several this month. Follow me on Instagram once again at alex underscore underscore boynton and I will see you guys, hopefully, God willing, in a week. Bye!